Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the Pathfinder tool and look at how the Pathfinder tool can combine shapes together. So let's create a new layer here. So we're going to lock this layer, hide it, and add a brand new layer. And we'll click here and call this layer Pathfinder Combine. Okay, so let's draw out a couple of simple shapes here. So if we grab the rectangle tool, we'll just draw out a rectangle. And then if we grab the ellipse tool, we'll draw out a nice ellipse here, okay? So essentially what the Pathfinder does is it allows us to combine shapes together. So if we move shapes in Illustrator, okay, over one another, then they're still independent shapes. And we can see that in our layers panel by opening this up and looking here to see that we still have our two paths, our shape path for our circle and our shape path for our rectangle, okay? So if we grab those two shapes and just position them okay so let's open up the pathfinder tool so if we go to window and pathfinder then basically we can you can see here that we have a number of different shape modes and the first one is the one we're going to look at here so we have the option to unite shapes so in order to unite shapes we have to select two or more shapes so we're going to hold down the shift key and select our rectangle so now just look at what happens in the layers panel when we press unite you can see now that from those two layers, we now have one layer which includes both those shapes, okay? So let's have a look at some other implementations of this. So if we draw out another rectangle, okay? So if we're thinking about making a cylinder or a shape that has a cylindrical shape like a mug or something like that, then we can, rather than trying to draw out those shapes independently, we can think in a smart way about how we could combine shapes together to create a, a cylindrical or other kind of shape. So let's grab an ellipse tool, okay? And if we then just come to the edge of our rectangle path here and then drag out an ellipse, okay? So that it snaps to both sides. So now we have two independent shapes, but if we pull this down, okay? You can see that our center here for our oval shape has snapped to the bottom of our rectangle here. So now we can grab those two shapes, hold our shift and combine them together. And rather than trying to draw out this bottom shape, we've combined two together to create the nice bottom of a cylinder. Okay, so let's just do something else here. So if we grab two points from the top, and I'm just going to grab them independently and just shift them to the right. And I'm holding down shift and using the cursors to do this so I can move them by exactly the same amount. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my ellipse tool again. And here I'm going to draw an ellipse that snaps to that width. Okay. So what I want to do here is I want to combine these two shapes together. Before I do that, I'm just going to make a, a copy of my cylinder. So go to edit and copy so that we can paste this back in a little bit later. So if I pull this down now, okay, until it snaps and then hold down shift, I can then use Unite to combine those two shapes together. And you can see we've ended up with a nice, real clean shape that we couldn't have done if we tried to draw it out manually. Now I'm going to paste back in that original ellipse that I copied from there. So if I go to edit and then paste in place, it's going to paste it back in the same spot. And I just want to reduce the scale of this slightly. So I'm going to reduce the scale down and then pop this so that it snaps into position around about here. Okay. So now I'm going to darken this shape. So if I go to my color, I'm just going to increase the amount of black here. And you can see now that we've got a nice shape here with the top of this cylinder matching the flow of the circle below. Okay, so we've got a real nice combination of shapes that works really well together. So if you think about making shapes, think about how you combine different shapes to make the shapes that you want. So we can so we can think of some interesting examples. So if we draw out some nice circles here, okay, maybe some ellipses too, okay, then we can combine those shapes together using the Pathfinder. We can switch them to gray, move a bit of that blue to make a nice cloud shape without having to draw all those lines together, okay? And that's one single individual shape. And there's lots of other examples 
like that too. So for instance, if we draw out a circle here, we'll make the color of this a nice pink. So we're drawing out one circle, we can hold down the Alt key to duplicate that same circle. And then if we unite these together, we have the top of a heart. We can we want to use this central point as the bottom point of the heart, but first we'll remove the anchor points here and here so that now when we pull this down we end up with a nice heart shape okay so you can see there's lots of different ways that you can work with and combine shapes to create uh, different objects without having to draw them out manually with something like the pen tool which is a useful tool but it can be hard to get those shapes to be perfect so that's a quick intro to combining shapes with the Pathfinder. Look at shapes, think about how you can make them from combinations rather than trying to draw them out yourself in Illustrator. It can be a much more effective way of creating your designs. So let's go on now and have a look at how we cut out and intersect shapes using the Pathfinder tool.